short one this time, not going to cover a whole tournament, but just look at the specific application of skills demonstrated by GoAttack and Shaoling. I want to talk about the importance of establishing a meta. This can help with a lot of things from gathering intel on your opponent to conditioning, loading their mental stack, or otherwise setting the pace of a match. I think this is also important for Raven for the following reasons. This helps you with poking and playing an inside game. Due to lacking in plus frames, Raven generally isn't the type of character that gets to hit button after button after button freely. In fact, range 0 is a pretty uncomfortable position for a character like Raven. With a shortage of plus and block options, below average block punishment, and mostly below average to just okay panic buttons. This isn't a good combination of limitations to have for up close gameplay. So not having the hard frame butter to be able to gain a monopoly on mashing means Raven must rely more on mental frames. And you do this by essentially changing your timing. As we'll soon see, once you establish a meta around delay timing, you can start getting away with immediate timing offense. Or creating situations that you shouldn't be able to get away with frame-wise, but can because you have enough intel to make the reads. And that's the most important lesson here. You don't want to get caught in the final round situation unsure of what to do. You want to have enough intel so you can cash out on big reads. And we see this really well with Shaoling in his IESF qualifier run. One of Shaoling's common strats is to play defensively in the early rounds, but then switches things up in the last round when he starts using more 50-50s and finishing strings. When looking at Shaoling's usage of down forward 1, he'll start just by gauging his opponent's response. So he'll stick to down forward 1 into movement. Once he has a better idea of his opponent's habits, he'll start taking his frames with down forward 1 into while standing 2. In this exchange here, his opponent repeatedly mashes after blocking down forward 1. The opponent is looking for some attack option as an answer. At each time, Shaoling simply steps or sidewalks around him. Sidestep instant while standing 2, or sidestep into instant full crouch. Again demonstrating why instant while standing and instant full crouch are so important for Raven. And I've made guides on both of these topics. So right off, Go Attack opens a round with full crouch 3, but doesn't commit to a mix. Instead, goes for a crouch dash into a poke sequence to fish for while standing 2 counter hit, which works. And important to note how Puma responds with a dash block. Opens a round again with full crouch 3, but this time commits to the crouch dash mix. Also doing the crouch dash before the sweep, is better if you know your opponent tends to respond by backdashing. And he closes the round with a punish then down four into delayed full crouch three. So far Go Attack is chasing Puma after each low. Chasing helps to not lose pressure and forces your opponent to press if they don't want to get mixed. Also note how Go Attack goes for full crouch after 1-1. One, one. Sure it's minus 8, but if your opponent is not taking their turn after, you can capitalize on that. Later on, we see Go Attack does jab into sidestep instant full crouch. It doesn't commit to a mix, but goes for the raw back turn, which is a great way to throw off timing. Then th throw break into sidestep instant full crouch. Go Attack didn't even want the throw, that was just a diversion. Puma opens with down 4 2 1 this time, not wanting to play defensively anymore. A very good read after the last two rounds. Okay.
Puma definitely paying attention now, reacting to Crouch Dash with Hop Knee. Puma also using more frame traps, call out mashing. Interestingly, he's still very patient at the wall, not willing to duck, which will become important for later. Down 4 into mix from Go Attack. Each mix has been a flowchart sweep. Amazingly, Puma sidesteps while standing 2 after back turned on 4 twice. At this level, this is why it's important to chase with Crouch Dash. And great interrupt in the backswing extension. Simple pressure and clever use of Ollie Kick series as a closer. Now, if you were in Go and Tag shoes, what would you take away from that set in order to adapt correctly? Puma actually kept it very simple. He was behind two rounds and brought it back just by paying attention and making a few correct observations. What would you exploit from his behavior to give yourself an edge in the next few rounds? Now, Go Attack isn't committing to offensive tactics after down four. He's still able to bully Puma at the wall. Nice instant full crouch and doesn't waste any momentum either, pushing a BT mix up on wake up. Notice how Puma keeps checking go attack off the block while standing too. Again, Puma is backed to the wall. And note to keep 1-1 one, one as a tracking option to catch sidestep right. Now full crouch 3 and go attack backs up to find Puma setting up a throw. And his down forward 2-1 catches after the throw break. Wake up into raw back turn. And yeah, most people would expect the back turn down forward into full crouch sweep flow chart here. So this was a good call out. Go keeps the momentum with sweep. Down 4 then backs off again and with punishes the capital punishment. So this is the set where big payoffs are made and the reason why I made this video. The adjustments Go Attack required, proper evaluation of his opponent in order to make solid reads without needing to take big gambles. Go Attack is caught stepping by down forward 2, then an insane crouch dash block to catch the hop knee, only to be caught stepping again. First full crouch 3 and it's interesting to see how both players are trying to read each other and catch each other out. Boom with the fuzzy and go attack with the dash block. Go seizes the opportunity with raw back turn. This set is going to see quite a bit of empty crouch dashes. Note Puma using down forward 2 after Ravens 2-3. He's not doing the odd dash block anymore. At 36 seconds, 
we see more dash blocking from Go Attack. After taking his turn with down 3, another full crouch 3, and this time Go commits to the mix, and he tries to keep momentum going with the back turn throw. And unfortunately not breaking the 2 throw here basically costs Go Attack the round. More crouch dash blocking, and this round, Go keeps getting caught ducking by King's forward fall. So now two rounds down, Go Attack could have taken that first round. Think about how Puma responded to Go Attack's lows then. The second round was a throwaway due to mistakes. But in this situation, it is possible to bring things back if you have a game plan to stick to. The last match of a set is like an exam. It comes down to how well you've been paying attention and if you conditioned your opponent with anything so you can start cashing out. Even without deliberate conditioning, it pays to have an idea of what's going on in your opponent's head. Can he make this full comeback right now? P is gonna have Starts the round with down back two, but is caught by down jab. Then follows with dash block into instant while standing 2. Go Attack has been doing down 3 in sidestep, but gets caught this time by King's 1 plus 2 3 string. Nice sequence here, good on the down jab into down 4 when jab into down 3 would have whiffed. Then followed by a sidestep of his own, and Go Attack starts to get a lot of mileage from this as Puma has been pressing off the down 4. Go Attack ready fishing for the while standing 2 here. Hedging his bets now on going for the mix after down 4, but Puma now backing up scores himself a juicy whiff punish, which costs the go attack everything. And here it can be really difficult to be methodical even if you do keep your cool. It's a big life deficit, time winding down, other guys two rounds up on the final set, and King can definitely cheese you out with Ali kicks or his 10 string, and the opponent will definitely be on the lookout for the Hail Mary rage drive. So it is absolute last chance scenario here. Puma now goes for the crouch dash throw mix after while standing 2 instead of his usual forward 3, but crucially drops the chain throw. Kotak responds with down 4 into sidestep, then empty crouch dash. Down 4 into sidestep again, and again, and he definitely could have gotten a big launch out of it. Down forward 1 sidestep into down back 1 2. Good call on a delayed timing sequence as Go has usually been pressing after down forward 1. Unfortunate parry but important throw break on the Shining Wizard setup. And here Go Attack picks Puma apart just by playing with his timing. Again bullying him at the wall and ultimately getting what he wanted by baiting out the panic rage art. Nice crouch dash block again. Goes for full crouch 3 again, but denied by the down forward 2. Nice dash block to bait out the full crouch down forward 2. And here we see Puma getting agitated. Rest in peace to win back to number 2 was actually a threat. Unfortunately, Go Attack dash blocks into the giant swing and doesn't break. Incredible sidewalk here. And again, the decoy throw that was just to set up for a sidestep instant full crouch and clever down back two into delayed full crouch four to close it out.